My name's Simon Wilson. I'm a specialist clinical negligence lawyer dealing particularly with uh, pressure sore damage cases. It's usually for patients either in care homes or in hospitals. Um, it's people who are uh, ill in bed after operations, etc. Um, and pressure sores occur from patients not being turned adequately, not being moved position adequately. By definition, that often is elderly people. It is tissue damage. Pressure sores actually build from the inside out. It's a build-up of acid in the muscles and the, the, the damage is caused by the acid actually eating out through the skin. Um, it happens over a prolonged period of time. If the acid isn't allowed to pool, the injury doesn't occur. So it, it is usually um, damage to the soft tissues which re uh, results in scarring which may need plastic surgery. We've been dealing with pressure sores for many years as a department, uh, particularly myself um, over the last 10 or 15 years really. Um, in terms of examples, we tend to find that you get a run of this type of claim against a specific ward on the trust. Uh, at, at the trust, that may be because of a lack of training at that time, for example, and you tend to find that you may get inquiries from three or four people at the same time who have all developed pressure sores. Really, in general terms, pressure sores are avoidable with appropriate treatment. They should seek advice from ourselves about pressure sore claims because we have so many years of experience of dealing with this type of claim. Um, many of this type of case comes down to looking at the appropriate nursing records to see what documentation there is, to see if a care plan was put in place to start with, to see if there was a proper risk assessment about the likelihood of pressure sore damage occurring and, and whether that plan has then been put in action by the nursing staff. So it's important that you have someone who can interpret the records and make a decision on that. They should certainly give uh, Neil Hudgels a call to get some advice. Um, pressure sores can be avoided, so if they or a relative have suffered from a pressure sore, it is imperative they seek legal advice, as it's very likely that there will be a claim that can be pursued.